Hello, today's devotional can be found in Ezekiel chapter 27, verse 4. Thy borders are in the midst of the seas. Thy builders have perfected thy beauty. Okay, so we were created in the image of our Heavenly Father and our Heavenly Mother as Jesus Christ was. Hence, we are all beautiful beings. And hence, we should not become vain, but we should appreciate what Heavenly Father has given us. Because our beauty is sacred. Our bodies are sacred. Our minds are sacred. Our hearts are sacred. And we should treat them with respect and kindness and not let anything or anyone defile them. Of course, there are those out there who love nothing better than to cause pain, but do not dwell on it. Seek healing for that pain, which is caused to you by others, who are influenced by Satan. Seek healing. Don't let it fester. Don't let any open wounds fester into, in such a way that you begin to devalue yourself and desecrate your body. Because you're, although you may heal, your body will never be the same. So take care of your body. Nourish it. Strengthen it. Treat it as a temple. Because that's what it is. Bodies are temples. And no matter what people may say about you, your body, your mind, your heart. They're all beautiful and sacred. If Heavenly Father didn't love us, He wouldn't have given us each a body to borrow during our time on the earth. And some are born with incomplete bodies, or bodies that don't work very well. But they're still beautiful. They're still beautiful and should be treated with respect. Because Heavenly Father knew they could handle that kind of a body. Heavenly Father knew they could handle what came with it. I mean, even those with imperfect minds, Heavenly Father knew they could handle it. Not everybody could handle it. And those with imperfect bodies and imperfect minds are still people. They are valuable people. But we need to learn to let them teach us. We need to learn to let them help us to be grateful for what is there, I mean. Everybody's a child of God, however they were created. I mean, the creation, like how people were created isn't a punishment. Those who have imperfect bodies and imperfect minds find it easier to become closer to God and Christ because that is where their safety lies in faith, in hope. And my borders, the borders speak of our potential. Our potential is out there. Our potential, we sometimes find it difficult to find it, but it is out there. And it is not hard to seek. But it may take some time to find it, but it is there. We shouldn't give up. Even if everybody says, give up, give up, give up, you're not perfect. We need to keep going. Heavenly Father is the Creator. He and Heavenly Mother and Jesus Christ created all of us with limitless potential and with endless temporal and eternal beauty. We just have to be, we just have to want to see the beauty that is within us. Because if we see the beauty that is within us, 
we will come to understand that we are children, beloved children of God, and that He all wants us to return home someday. And because of the atonement of Jesus Christ, we are able to see past our imperfections and see that temporal and eternal beauty. But only if we choose it. Anyway, keep that on your minds. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.